Hi Pisces, welcome to your reading by the Blessings Foundry. Today's reading will get some messages and guidance for you to help you on your soul's journey. Spirit, please connect to the Pisces viewers and subscribers of this channel and their guides, guardians, angels, ancestors, and higher selves in high vibrational energy to get the messages and guidance that Pisces needs for their soul's journey at the time they view this video. So let's see what messages and guidance we get for you today, Pisces. Spirit, what messages and guidance do you have for Pisces at the time they view this video, please? What messages and guidance do we start off with? Quite a few cards. The first one is the Four of Cups. This is about you getting to the place where you've had enough. You're discontent and bored with your options. You may not see a new option coming in because you have grown that in, into that apathetic or closed off posture. Um, we see you sitting alone underneath the tree. This could also be that you need or are meditating. Um, I'm feeling that some of you might be also doing yoga or it could benefit from doing some type of breathing exercises or yoga. But we're seeing ultimately the cups are about emotions. The three here have already been experienced and we have one more new experience coming in but the thing is are you going to be open to it or not the next card we have is the ten of swords and this shows why you may be closed off to new experiences new options perhaps even spending some alone time because you've been there you've you've opened up your heart you've opened up your energy to people to situations and this is what you got. You got stabbed in the back. You got out for the count. Um, and it didn't just happen once. We see 10 swords in this person's back. But the promising thing about the 10 of swords is it's indicating that the worst is now behind you. So we see the next card being the six of wands that you are moving forward. You're turning your back to this 10 of swords energy and you're saying, you know what, I've had enough. I'm going to rise above the circumstances, rise above the people, the situations in my life, in your life and go forward and, and claim my victory. I am worthy of recognition. I am worthy of rewards. So I'm going to go forward and get what, what is yours Re be open to receiving then the next card we have is the emperor card coming out the emperor's aries energy it's about control it's about being in a position of a po of power of authority now the six of wands with the emperor could be recognition that you could be valued or rec recognized by somebody in a position of leadership or by an organization the emperor is also a governmental body of some type, some type of organization. It can also be somebody who's more mature, mature um, than you either behaviorally, characteristically, or, or physically. Perhaps even a paternal type figure. Um, what other messages do you have for Pisces, please? What other messages do you have for Pisces, please? Okay, that's too many, Spirit. We need to be more specific for Pisces, please. Please be more specific for Pisces. What other messages? Okay. And so we're still having quite a few messages come out, but we're going to take these. Then, so we'll put the emperor up here. Because you're, rec you're, you're going towards this emperor. Whatever this emperor is, and we'll clarify this emperor in a little bit here. You're going towards it, being recognized, being in high confidence, having achieved something. And we see what you have been achieving is overcoming the trials and tribulations, the difficulties that you've been going through. The next card we have is the Eight of Cups that you're moving on. I feel a number of you have already moved on from some very difficult situations, which we do see um, a number of difficult situations um, that have presented in your experience. Um, and I don't mean to keep tapping the screen. I don't know if you see me doing that, but my it keeps asking. I'm using my phone and it keeps asking me to log into something. It's so annoying. Anyway, 
So sorry about that distraction. Um, so here we have the Eight of Cups going forward. And what are you going forward towards? You're going forward towards the sun. So this is a cleansing out. You're choosing um, the sun is good news. It's also good luck. It's good fortune as well. So you're going forward towards a much happier time. In the Ten of Swords, we see in the in the horizon, the sun is rising. So you're riding towards the rising sun. And then we have the High Priestess energy coming out, Pisces energy, also your intuition, allowing your intuition to guide you, to direct you on your soul's journey and to inform you of what the next steps should be. With the sun, Leo energy, and the high priestess, you're being intuitively led and given new clarity as to what directions to go. We see the six of wands and the eight of cups both leaving, both going in a direction forward. So we do see you moving forward on your journey in your circumstances and you're you're not staying stuck in this you're not sitting under a tree by yourself anymore you're not sitting there with the swords in your back you've taken them out and you you've you're successfully moving forward past that energy um what is this four of cups for pisces please what does pisces need to know about this four of cups And for the Four of Cups, we're getting the Temperance card, Sagittarius Energy, which is showing that you were waiting under this tree, waiting for the process to occur, for something new to come in. And we see with this Temperance card that a new thing was being made. And here we see with the Four of Cups, the new thing is coming in. So what is this Temperance for Pisces, please, Spirit? What does Pisces need to know about this Temperance card, please? What is this temperance for Pisces? And we're getting the Ten of Cups. So you're definitely going towards a new happiness, a new thing. Um, you were waiting for the right opportunity to come in, the right, the right cup to be handed towards you, the cup of happiness. And what is this Ten of Swords for Pisces, please? And we have the world. So this is definitely showing that this chapter is coming to a close, that this Ten of Swords is what was before, but not what is current or in your future. That you've already closed the door on this Ten of Swords. I'm hearing for some of you, this Ten of Swords could have been a person or a situation. Um, what is this world for Pisces, please? What does Pisces need to know about this world? For the world, we're getting the Ace of Wands. So we do see a new beginning that is forming for you. As you close the door to the past, as you close the door to the things that did not work out, that may have been tr traumatic or difficult for you, you're definitely going towards a, a new thing here. We definitely see you going towards the Ace of Wands, which can be a new business opportunity, a new job, a new creative passion, but something that is going to present you or enable you to have a new type of growth that you haven't had before. And I'm hearing a positive form of growth. In the past, you've grown out of experiencing pain, <clears throat> pardon me, out of experiencing pain and difficulty. And you learned that hermit wisdom through your experiences, but this is going to be a time when you're when you're going through happy times in order to grow from happy experiences. Hold on one second. Get a sip of coffee. <clears throat> Pardon me. So let's see what the six of wands is. What is the six of wands for Pisces, please? What does Pisces need to thank you? And for the Six of Wands, we have the Two of Pentacles. One more card for the Six of Wands, please. And the Two of Swords. So you're making decisions here. I feel most of you have already made decisions about taking a new opportunity or going in the direction of a new opportunity. The Two of Pentacles is show can reference turning a hobby into passive income. And with the Six of Wands here, I feel that's going to be very successful for some of you. The Two of Swords is about needing to apply logic over emotions. It can also be 
being in a stalemate position, whereas the two of pentacles can be, you know, kind of juggling, going back and forth, weighing the pros and cons. But we see you moving forward um, from this energy, successfully making successful decisions. So let's see what this two of pentacles is. What is this two of pentacles for Pisces, please, Spirit? And for the two of pentacles, you're making a decision. So you're definitely awakening, having clarity over what path you're going to be taking. Um, the judgment is also referencing your calling. So some of you are being called to pursue some new ventures, maybe a business venture, maybe hobbies, maybe um, something you haven't explored before. What is this Two of Swords for Pisces? What is this Two of Swords? Some of you are going to be going in a new career direction as well. What is this Two of Swords, please? I'm hearing some of you have already made, have already gone in a new career direction. Um, for this Two of Swords, Pisces, we are getting the Knight of Pentacles. And the Knight of Pentacles is a card of career and financial change, job changes. So some of you are changing jobs or have changed jobs. And you're going to be much more successful. Some of you have had promotions or will have promotions. Increases in finances and something being given to you. The Six of Pentacles. So we're seeing your decisions are going to be very successful as you go towards a new opportunity. The key here is about not sitting complacently in one place, but taking action and moving forward successfully. So let's see what this Emperor is for you. Oops. Spirit, what does Pisces need to know about this Emperor, please? What does Pisces need to know about this Emperor? But I do feel with the Six of Pentacles, something is going to be given to you that's going to help you out. And then for the Emperor, we have the Queen of Pentacles. So this is about success, commitment. Queen of Pentacles is also security and stability. The Emperor is very secure, very stable energy. The Queen of Pentacles is feminine earth energy, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. And we see the Knight of Pentacles, King of Pentacles, Six of Pentacles, and Queen. So we're seeing that this, this could very well be about your security, your stability, your finances, or career. What is this Queen of Pentacles here for? Thank you. For the Queen of Pentacles, we have the Two of Swords again. So you're needing to make a decision. But we have the energy of the past weighing in on your decisions. And Spirit is calling your attention to the fact that you want to be cognizant. You want to be aware that your past disappointments here with the spilled cups don't make you miss out on new opportunities. This is a time for you to try new things, to go in new directions, and to not be in an emotional spot because of the past disappointments. What is before you is new, and you're walking away from the emotions, the unfulfilling things of the past. Excuse me, please. What is this Eight of Cups for Pisces, please? What is this Eight of Cups for Pisces? Thank you. For the Eight of Cups, we have the Seven of Pentacles. So we see a progression from the Six of Pentacles where something new is going to be presented to you and you're going to have an opportunity to invest long term or to have to plant the seeds of I'm, I'm hearing plant the seeds of investment so some of you might be going in the direction of investing what is this eight of cups please one more card for this eight of cups and we're having the ace of swords so some of you have are are moving forward after having waited for a long time for something the ace of swords is about <clears throat> excuse me please a victory about communication coming forward. Let's clarify these two. Some of you have been waiting for a while to have communication come through that would open a doorway or be a breakthrough for you. What is the Seven of Pentacles for Pisces? For the Seven of Pentacles, we're getting the Nine of Cups, your wish fulfillment. So we are seeing you've been waiting to be able to move forward towards your wish fulfillment here. And then you have the Nine of Swords. There is some stress and anxiety. Maybe you've been having stress and anxiety about, you know, if you if you move forward and invest in a new area, if it's going to truly be your wish fulfillment. 
And part of the reason why you may be so having anxiety or stress about if this would be your wish fulfillment or not is because you've had so much disappointment, so many betrayals, so much trauma, so many things that did not work out very well in the past that now it's almost become second nature for you to question or have doubt or anxiety about situations. What is this Ace of Swords, please? For the Ace of Swords here, we're getting the Page of Swords. The Page of Swords is communication coming through in hours or days. It's also somebody who's been keeping an eye on you on social media. Let's get one more card for this Ace of Swords. It's also speaking to the fact that you are um, very intelligent. You have um, cleverness and wit. What is this Ace of Swords, please? One more card for this Ace of Swords, please, Spirit. And here we're having the Ace of Cups. So there could be communication regarding a new opportunity coming in. And that's what we were seeing in this Four of Cups is the Ace of Cups coming in for you. And, you know, you may have just needed to take some time and allow things to process. Maybe the authorizations to come through. What is the sun for Pisces, please? What is the sun for Pisces, please? The, the Page of Swords with the Ace of Cups could also be communication regarding a, a new emotional beginning or something being offered to you. Here for the Sun, we're getting the Six of Wands for the second time. So this is victory. This is good news coming forward. There is going to be some type of success here. And we have the Six of Wands twice in this reading. So let's see what the Six of Wands here is. What is the Six of Wands with the Sun, please? For the Six of Wands, we have the Five of Swords. So you're overcoming the past resistant energy. One more card for the Six of Wands, please. You may not have, in, in the past, you may not have won the battles, but you're going to win the war. The overall, the overall struggle, the overall situation you're going to win, even though you may have at from time to time had disappointments or setbacks one more card for the six of wands please and for this we're having the death card so it's the end oops just as we were saying pisces it's the end of battles it's the end of this resistant energy you're walking away you're turning your back you're you're done because you're overcoming and you're going towards a much better much brighter time the death card is also scorpio energy so during Scorpio season, you could, um, which I think is, uh, well, it's in fall time, um, October, November, I think, um, you could have a success, a very marked success during Scorpio season. What is this High Priestess for Pisces, please? What is this High Priestess for Pisces, please? And we're having the Five of Pentacles. One more card for this High Priestess. So I feel this high priestess is your intuition leading you out of lack, leading you out of suffering. Here, the emperor, some of you could have had financial losses or been having financial hardship, but we see the emperor coming in as a new structure, as you really taking control over a situation and becoming much more abundant. We have the emperor and the empress. Some of you for relationships may have felt rejected or abandoned by somebody or in a situation um, may have felt as though the situation wasn't living up to your expectations. But here we see a balancing out and then we have the devil energy. The devil is Capricorn energy. This is very good for entrepreneurialism and for business. And we see that the devil is about materialism as well. So let's go ahead and clarify these down. Spirit, what is this Five of Pentacles for Pisces, please? This is really overcoming. Yeah, so the Five of Pentacles is clarified by the Seven of Pentacles, which we have twice here. So you're moving out of a situation of lack, of hardship, and you're going into a place where you're going to have some to invest, some to save. What is this Emperor, please? What is this Emperor, please? It's also keeping an eye on your money, particularly those of you who have been struggling financially. It's going to be very important for you to literally keep your eye 
on where your money is going. In the Emperor, we see the, the Eight of Swords. So I feel somebody in a position of authority, excuse me, please, or somebody who was trying to control you is being blocked. We're also seeing that, one more card for this Emperor, please. One more card for this Emperor. And here we have the Magician. So there could have been somebody in a, I'm feeling there's, there could have been somebody in a position of power who, who incorrectly used their power to try to control you. And that really held you in a position of lack or suffering, but we see you going away from that. What is this Empress for Pisces, please? Abuse of power. That's what I'm seeing is for some of you, this reading is speaking about somebody around you who abused their power to your detriment. What is this Empress, please? And here we have the Queen of Pentacles coming out for the second time. So we're seeing a very abundant energy coming out of this, that you're going to be moving forward towards something much more stable and secure. The Queen of Pentacles owns and takes possession of that coin in her lap um, and uses it to build security and stability. What is this devil for Pisces, please? And for the devil, we're getting the Queen of Swords. So you're cutting out unhealthy situations. You're cutting the ties that bind. You're cutting binds. Some of you may have even been doing spell work or prayers or petitions to cut binds, cords. Let's get one more card for this devil. One more card for this devil, please, spirit. One more card for this devil. You're getting out of a bad situation, though, and you're going towards something much better. And here we have, yes, absolutely, this is confirmation of that. You're energetically shifting into a period that's going to be much better for you, much more fertile. The Empress is very fertile, very abundant. It's the energy of Taurus, which is very much about security and stability. And it's also the energy of Venus, which is a high vibration. So we see you moving out of this of situations where you were bound or controlled and you you could have been in a situation where there was an abuse of power for some of you as well um, but we see you definitely having victory over this and moving forward towards a new beginning um, or this the ace of wands now Actually, Spirit's asking me to clarify this Ace of Wands for you. Instead of saying, oh, there's a new beginning, Spirit wants me to be more specific. Spirit, what is this Ace of Wands for Pisces, please? What does Pisces need to know about this Ace of Wands? Spirit's telling me growth. Growth through happiness. That, that's what we discussed before. Um, but let's see what Spirit says. And then we have following your calling or making a decision to put the burden down. And it's interesting that for the Ace of Wands, we, we get the Ten of Wands with the Judgment because you're making a decision to put the burden down and transmute the Ten, one plus zero, into the Ace of Wands. So you're, you're definitely coming to a close of a cycle um, where you were carrying a burden. So that's what the, the new beginning is about. It's about putting down a burden, a, a, a difficulty, making the decision to move on is freeing for you and that's what the ace of wands is it's about your free freeing yourself from this burden which is going to open up um new space for you to invite something new in which we do see the ace of swords the sun coming in for you and then we have the double empress which is about your abundance being in the flow of creative energy giving birth to new things in your life new opportunities and then we have the eight of wands here which is representing that energetic shift and and also um communication coming in okay spirit wants me to clarify this eight of wands what is this eight of wands please what does Pisces need to know about this Eight of Wands? And we're having the Five of Pentacles. So you're moving out of, um, we have the Five of Pentacles and the Five of Pentacles. You're moving out of a situation of hardship, of difficulty. Let's get one more card for this Eight of Wands to clarify it. One more card for this Eight of Wands. Show us clearly. What is this Eight of Wands, please? I'm hearing spirit say, guard your thoughts, Pisces. 
and then we're having the page of wands. So there is a communication regarding something to do with your security, your stability, perhaps your finances. The page of wands also indicates there's a new journey for you, but the page of wands is good news. Spirit, one card for the overall energy of this reading for Pisces, please. One card for the overall, this one right here. And for your overall energy today, we have triumphant success. So this is a very promising energy. This is the Ace of Swords, which we see twice in your reading. We have the Ace of Wands, Swords, and Cups. So we see the potential of new things dawning, but it's going to require, if you're still in a situation where you're carrying a burden, it's going to require that closing out first. Um, Spirit, one Oracle for Pisces, please. One Oracle for Pisces, thank you. And for your oracle today, Pisces, we're getting growth. And this is exactly what we were talking about with the Ace of Wands is in the past, you grew through pain. You grew through the difficulty. You grew through the turmoil, the backstabbing, the, the strife, the drama. But here, um, you want to expand your consciousness and your awareness, but you're going to do it now through much more positive circumstances and experiences. Spirit, one fortune oracle for Pisces, please. One fortune oracle for Pisces, please, Spirit. And here for your fortune oracle, we're getting transformation. Reach out for the power and strength to make changes, enrich your life, and become the person you want to be. So this is, you know, growth and transformation and talking about your success. Some of this is about, you know, for some of you, it's going to be going a new life path or a career path or a personal path or exploring something new that's going to lead to a positive growth and transformation. Spirit, one angel answers for the overall message here, please. One angel answers for the overall message for Pisces. Please show them what they need to see. And we have two cards coming out. The first one we have is be assertive. And the second one we have is trust. So trust the path, trust that you are on the right path. We do have the high priestess here, which is indicating, you know, listening to your intuition, listening to your calling. We have the judgment in here, which is about making decisions about your path, awakening. And we see you making a decision also to, um, no longer engage in in fruitless battles or situations with low energy people spirits indicating to me the five of pentacles here is we can see that the five of pentacles um the person is not alone and we see you leading but this other person coming around and being attached to your energy and it's almost as though i can hear this person saying oh pisces oh pisces what about me what about me or even though you're going through a struggle they don't see your struggle and they they bring up how much they're struggling um and don't necessarily give mind or attention or care to the burdens or difficulties that you're going through. Um, so this is a time of really coming to terms with, you know, perhaps the situations, the people, the circumstances of your life and recognizing um, the disparity, the difference between where you want to be and where your energy is at and the low energies that might be surrounding you and separating yourself from that because you're going through a transformation here and your your growth is dependent upon you separating yourself from past energies that were traumatic low level energies or put, or situations that put you in a a place of hardship and difficulty spirit one lucky oracle for pisces please one lucky oracle for Pisces, please. Thank you. This one, this one. You you worry over small matters, and that's what we're seeing in the Nine of Swords. Um, you you, I'm hearing you. The reason why you may have stress and anxiety about where you currently are is because you've gone through some really serious junk. Like you've, you've gone through difficulty and you have that what if, some of you have that, what if this happens, what if this happens again, but just you have the wisdom to navigate your life now um, so you don't come up against those obstacles and experiences again. You are inclined to be optimistic and that's what we're saying is, you know, you Pisces are very optimistic, but you need to be mindful about the energies that you're allowing in or allowing to surround yourself. You will be more prosperous in the near future 
And that's what we're seeing here with the double empress, the knight of pentacles, king of pentacles, and six of pentacles. Something's coming in. Trust where you're being led because you're being led to success. A stranger who will turn into a good friend. So sometimes when you're in a season of loss, it's a shredding, a, a shedding, shedding, <laughs> a shedding and a pruning season to make way for more healthy fruit and more healthy friends. So just keep that in mind. If you have a yes or no question for today, Pisces, the answer is yes. And the lucky number for today is 654 which reduces to the number 15, which reduces to the number six. And this is the message that I have for you today, Pisces. Thank you so much for joining me and spending time with me during the um, Pisces videos. And I really appreciate your support, your like, shares, subscribes. It means a lot to me. And I wish you the very best and have a great day. God bless.